We're also learning more about the charitable contributions from the Myrtle Beach Classic as well. Yeah, it's one of those, uh, Tegan Brown is with one of those nine charities that's really helping the community. And uh, Tegan, you're out there right now, right with the uh, officially one of the PGA Hope Day Project Golf, uh, one of the charities there set up over on the 11th hole. Director Angel Diaz says that uh, today is all about one group of people. So tell us more. Hey Dave, yeah, we're over here on the 18th hole right now, and also I gotta say, I hope these pros are better at golfing in the wind than I am, because it feels like we're blowing away over here, all the fans definitely uh, holding back their hair and everything, but yeah, I mean, there are nine charities this week that this tournament is benefiting, Project Hope is one of them, and in fact, this morning it was declared as PGA Hope Day. This means that the state has made this an official day happening every single year, and they did it to recognize the hard work of all these veterans and the hard work of PGA Hope, all of the outreach that they do, uh, Project Golf PGA Hope. And we got to talk to Director Angel Diaz about what it means to be there this morning and have that proclamation. This is a congratulatory to the veterans um, and what they do. And, uh, and for them to get the recognition every year uh, for what, you know, the impact that PGA Hope is making on our veteran community, this is what it's all about. That is, in fact, what it's all about. The PGA has given over $6 billion to charitable organizations since they started back in the 1960s. And again, they are over on the 11th hole. They have a whole setup with a veterans outreach van. They're pretty hard to miss with all the red, white, and blue over there, guys.